next door. What's the hurry? Well, maybe some of the people who are leaving are the people Richard wants you to meet. Richard will never let him go. Yeah. You know, I think it was sweet of Richard to want you to meet some people who could help your career. Oh, well, I appreciate that, all right. Just that I'm not too crazy about those kind of parties. I hate phonies. Well, you always seem to enjoy yourself. Well, I'm usually faking it. <laughs> hey, let's try to leave early, huh? It's okay with me, but we have to be at a party to leave it. Good. Let's get there so we can leave. Okay. <laughs> Honey, I can dress myself. You sure? Yeah. Oh. Well, look who's here. Who? Jimmy Peterson, I'm mad at you. I left my earring at your house and you never called. Well, I'm not Jimmy Peterson. I'm, I'm Dick Preston. Are you a producer or a director? No, I'm not. Then I'm sorry. The answer is no. <laughs> Who, who is that? I don't know. It's uh, either Don Seltner's wife or Herbie Vincent's girlfriend. I... Hi, neighbor. Hi, guys. Good John, morning. John, John. That girl, is that uh, Don Seltner's wife or Herbie Vincent's girlfriend? Both. Oh. <laughs> hey, Jenny, I want you to see this bread. This caterer is an artist. Oh, yeah? She is an artist. He's a con artist. It's cheaper to eat money. <laughs> John, don't do that. But you're not at home. Look, will you mix? Yeah. I'll get a napkin. <laughs> Hi again. Hi. I brought you a drink. Do you want the green one or the pink one? Uh, well, when it comes to drinks, I usually prefer tan. <laughs> well, I made you a pink one, Ralph. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not Ralph. Didn't I just meet you, Ralph Benson, the director? No, I'm still Dick Preston. <laughs> Ralph! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no great creative mind arrives on the scene full blown. All artists are influenced by other artists. But what's really interesting is that even though Truffaut idolizes Hitchcock, when he tries to do a Hitchcock-type picture, it just doesn't have the same suspense. Yeah. <laughs> Herb, Herbie, do you agree with Hitchcock when he says that actors are unimportant? Well, of course I do. Oh. Especially when the actor twists the story for the sake of his own. His own ego. <laughs> Tell you an actor. Well, I guess they're so on my guild card. Oh, oh uh, Dick Preston, Herbie Vincent. Oh, hi, huh? Well, no offense, but personally, I have better success directing non-professionals. Well, that's true. You know, a lot of them do. Einstein did. The Zika uses real people in his films all the time. Yeah, I must say I was influenced by both of them. Are you a film director? None producer. Would we have seen some of your films? Well, I should think you would have. There's several running on the tube these days. Oh, really? Which ones? Well, there's Piedmont Motor Oil, Ready Set Hairspray, Rancho Burn Muffins. Well, uh, those, are, uh, those are commercials. You, you direct commercials? Oh, sure. Mm. That's where the real creative thrust is today. Quick cut, rack focus, handheld camera, and compression. Real compression. In one minute, you have to tell the whole story. Well, it's a challenge. I made it. My Bo Peep Bath Beats won four awards. <laughs> they call it the minor classic. They did? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I do the work. They throw the laurels. <laughs> right now, all my energies are directed towards my current project. Oh, what, what is that? Drift off. Drift off? Oh, that's great stuff. I'll use that. What's drift off? That's what we're going to do right now. Get you to a drink. <laughs> yeah, come on. Right this is housewife talking. Give me that. Connie, so you haven't heard of drift off? Well, is it a sleeping aid? What? It's a spot remover. And it's fantastic. It really works. Do you remember when we moved in, that awful spot I had on the rug? Oh, yeah. That big green one shaped like Africa. Africa. Great image. <laughs> Didn't you know the spot is gone? No. You don't notice a gone spot. <laughs> Seriously, I tried everything on that carpet. I thought no nothing would work. Then one day, what? one day, you picked up a can of drift off, sprayed it on, and zap, that green spot was gone. Exactly. <laughs> Say, have you ever tried it on anything else? Oh, lots of things. You know, Dick got a grape juice stain on his sweater. Oh, come on, Jenny. The only thing you can do with a grape juice stain is to dye the sweater grape. <laughs> it really works. Nothing works on grape juice. Oh, except... If... if you want your stains to lift off, give a shot of drift off and say I'll be the Zane to stay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Herbie, do we get the job? Oh, Johnny Scully, I just think you're fabulous. I want to get you two on film. Oh, I was just kidding. <laughs> yes, I was he. No, I wasn't. You mean you want us to do the commercial? Yes. Oh, no, Jim, I couldn't. He wants us to do it. Couldn't. I I'm not a performer. Listen. All week, I've been having real housewives chat about drift off. And you two just did it better than anybody I got lined up. Oh, except for sweet Lorraine here. She's my lucky charm. <laughs> You'll just love working with Herbie. <laughs> Stage shape like Africa? Great. <laughs> Listen, I want you two to come to the studio Monday morning and do just what you did here. I couldn't. Uh, we get paid for it? Oh, yes. She could. <laughs> you will be sensational. What's the address? Here. 
You be there at 10 a.m. for makeup. Look, look, could we just slow down a minute? Mm -hmm. Connie, I have never... Well, neither have I, and there's always the first time. And that's what we want. Virgin performers. Whoa. <laughs> well, let's just say non-professionals. Huh? That I can handle. <laughs> See you girls Monday morning, right? Right. All right, honey. Bye. <laughs> What just happened? Mm -hmm. Are you going to do it? What if I don't have to? You have to. Why do I have to? Because it'll be fun. Right, and you get paid, you know, while having fun. I can't do that. Oh, come on, you'll feel better after a good night's sleep. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be any sleep in the night. How long will Mommy be sick? <laughs> Mommy's not sick, I think. She just couldn't sleep very good last night. Mommy takes after me. Night before I did my play in school, I couldn't sleep either. Yeah, I remember that. Mm. That mommy's even worse than you are. She doesn't have to do that commercial till tomorrow. Hi. Good morning. I'm sorry I didn't get breakfast. It's all right, honey. Chrissy likes my cooking. Yeah, what'd you make him? Sliced bananas? Good. <laughs> Good shower, Chrissy. Want me to take him for a ride in the stroller? Oh, would you, honey? I'll take him to the park. Anybody good is there for me to play with, I'll bring him home. That sounds fair enough. Go on, Chrissy, you're going to go play with your sister. Only if nobody good is there. Right. If you want your things to lift off, get a can of crisp off. You think I could get her to do it for me, honey? <laughs> Baby. You want some breakfast? You left over a half a banana here. No, I, I'll just have coffee. Okay. Dick, hmm? I don't want to do this. Well, honey, why not? It's a good product. You said so yourself. Well, it is, but I just don't want to make a fool of myself. Well, you won't. Just do what you did last night. Well, there were no cameras at the party last night, and you know I hate performing. Well, honey, don't think of it as performing. Do what you do when I take the home movies. I get nervous at home movies. Are you kidding? You're fun at home movies. You were a smash at the Grand Canyon. I look stupid sitting there sticking out my tongue. Well, that was Boulder Dam. <laughs> I did it in both places. When in doubt, stick out your tongue. My husband spilled grape juice on his sweater. <laughs> Honey, I don't want to do this. I'm going to call Connie. Maybe she feels the same way I do. Maybe she's having second thoughts about it or something. I don't know. Hi, Jen. Hi, Connie. How are you feeling? Well, I didn't sleep very much last night. No. Neither did I. I didn't sleep at all. No, this whole thing could be an embarrassment. We could end up looking so stupid. Well, I have always felt that if you can't do something right, then you just should not do it at all. Oh, Connie, I'm so relieved to hear you say that. You have taken such a burden off my mind, I can't tell you. Would you call Mr. Vincent? Why should I call Herbie? Well, to tell him we're not coming. What, you want to call the whole thing off? Well, isn't that what you meant? No, I meant that if we're going to do it, we may as well do it right. So why don't we get together and rehearse what we said? Rehearse? <laughs> honey, she wants us to rehearse. Rehearse? <laughs> Connie, honey, you can't rehearse spontaneity. Richard, Yeah, I heard. Dick, do you have any idea how much money we're talking about? Yeah. Well, they ought to be as good as they can be. Well, I can't argue with that. Look, Richard and I'll be right on. Bye. They're coming right over to rehearse. Oh. So long. Where are you going? When they get here, just tell them that I've gone to the park to play with the children. Something <laughs> <laughs> fun. You Come on, I'll help you. We'll read the label on the can, get some ideas for ad libs. Hazardous to children. Bad for your eyes. Do not incinerate. There, you see, when you ad lib, don't say any of that stuff there. You can also get eight free steak knives if you send in a cap and four dollars. Hi. 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 Will you Hi. come back here? <laughs> you have the can of juke off? All set. You know, I am so nervous about this thing. I mean, I don't even know how we begin. Well, that's simple. We just sit down and we start talking. Sit down? Sure. Oh, but uh, we weren't sitting down at the party. Yeah, well, I think I'd be more comfortable sitting down because I shake less. Oh, okay. If it makes you more comfortable. Well, you guys just go ahead. We'll just sit here. We will not say a word. Who starts? You start. Me? Yeah, you know about the product, so you start. I don't think I was the one that started. Well, I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't just start talking about stains. Well, I certainly wouldn't. Well, neither would I. Well, somebody has to start. Yeah, that was very, very good. <laughs> really, it was very natural. I would say, though, Jenny, as you are the person who has the drift off, you would be the logical one to start. I know I wasn't the one who started it. Hey, could I make a, a suggestion? Please. I was thinking, Connie, to kind of get you started, why don't you make an entrance into the room yeah. here and then you notice that something's missing? What? Oh, the spot. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Huh? Okay, honey, why don't you sit over here? Just for our purposes, let me... Uh, yeah. Now, sit there. Okay, now, you try to make an entrance and you ask her how she got rid of the stain. It kind of gets you rolling, huh? Okay. Want to try that? Wait, what, why am I sitting here? 
Well, you just said you were more comfortable sitting. No, I mean, a housewife wouldn't just sit down in the middle of the day for no reason. Yeah. Right, unless she was watching her favorite soap opera on TV. <laughs> well, Rich, I think we ought to try and keep it simple. Oh. Hey, why, is that, why does she have a cup of coffee? Oh, yeah, and then I can ask for a cup, too. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's going to make it look like a coffee commercial. Oh, yeah. Well, suppose she's having a glass of water. I like that. Nobody sits down to have a glass of water. Coffee's what they have. Look, I, I don't think it matters. That's, that's, look, come on, try and make that interest, will you, Connie? Oh, okay, and just be sitting here having your coffee. And Dick, <clears throat> would you clear the set, please? Oh. Thank you. Okay, let's try this now. Everybody set, and action! <laughs> <laughs> Jen, what you doing? Are you going to come in like that? <laughs> How else can I come in? Well, I can... Oh, I came in too quickly? To everything. What do you mean by that? Uh, Connie, I, I think what uh, the Jenny's trying to say, maybe you came in just a little too uh, theatrical, you know? Yeah, yeah well, you'd see, because that is because she is a dancer. She does everything just too gracefully. Will you just tone it down? Uh, okay, I'll try. Okay. Sorry, honey. That's what rehearsals are for. Right, let's uh, try that entrance again. Okay. Dick, Dick. Where's the set, please? <laughs> Hi. Cut. <laughs> Why are we cutting? You did it again. Well, I was only being natural. You naturally come into a room like that? I just did. I always do. Uh, ladies, ladies, start where Connie's already in the room. However she got there. <laughs> okay. I'm out and in. And I have just said, hi, how are you? No. You said, hi, what you doing? Well, what difference does it make? Well, it makes a lot of difference. I mean, if you say hi, how are you? I'll say fine. If you say hi, what you doing? I'll say having a cup of coffee. You want one? What are you going to say? Whatever comes natural. We're supposed to be spontaneous. Well, you were the one that wanted to rehearse. I wanted to rehearse our spontaneity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll rehearse it. What are you going to say? How do I know? Jenny, Jenny, I, I really think it would be better if you didn't know what she was going to say. It would be sort of more... Uh... Spontaneous. Yeah, actually, it would, honey. Why don't you just answer like you do in everyday life? Well, in real life, I wouldn't be doing this dumb commercial. Jenny, <laughs> Jenny, we don't want to start thinking like that. Well, We're doing beautifully. We are. Yeah. Just try it once more. Action. <laughs> Hi, Jen. What's up? Fine. <laughs> What you doing? Jenny, we're not doing a play. Why can't I know what you're going to say? Because in real life, you wouldn't know what I was going to say. I would too. You say hi, what you doing? How do you know? Because that's what you say every time you come in and see me having a cup of coffee. Every time. Every time. I do not. You do tell me. Just tell me. Every time you come in, you say the same thing. I think I got an idea here. Wait, you no, are. I think I can help you. Look, why don't you just come in and say whatever, uh, you know, hi, what you doing? Yeah. And you and you say, uh, I'm having a cup of coffee. Want one? And you say, uh, hey, hey, what's different in this room? And you say, different? Nothing. And you say, the big green stain is missing. Yeah. And then you say, do you notice that stain? Huh? Now, that's not the real word. You know, I'm just trying to get you rolling there. Okay. Try that and see. We'll see. <laughs> Good? Yeah. And hi. hi. What you doing? What you doing? Having a cup of coffee. Having a cup of coffee. What? what? what, what? You say, what's, what's different, different in this room? room? <laughs> and you say, different? Different? Nothing. And you say, that, that big, big green stain. <laughs> and you say, did you notice that you stain? Did you notice that stain? <laughs> you don't forget a stain that's shaped like India. <laughs> The stain was shaped like Africa. Aren't you going to say Africa? Why? Because that's what you said at the party. Well, what's the difference? Mr. Vincent thought a stain shaped like Africa was a very funny image. Herbie liked our spontaneity, and that's what I'm trying to keep. I mean, I could say Canada, Mexico, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? Don't you say one word about Puerto Rico. <laughs> Look, honey, I just want you to know I am doing this just for you, and if you can't but tell me what you're going to say, Jimmy, I really don't care about the whole thing. Well, oh, I just don't care. You are Oh, well, neither do I. Uh, may I uh, make a suggestion? Yeah, yeah. This is not the exact words, of course, but we'll stop rehearsing and I'll take her home. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see Jenny get to the studio Monday morning. Yeah, I just want to tell her what happened. She's an actress already. She's an actress. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> Hi. What you doing? <laughs> Oh, hi, ladies. Just one more take and I'll be ready for you. Now, don't worry about a thing. Just be your own fun self. Happy people make happy commercials. We're all ready for you, Mr. Vincent. Okay, okay. Remember, happy, happy. Okay, boys. Let's see if we can get a good take on this one. Connie, uh, could you do me just one big favor? Certainly. Could you let me know what you're going to say when you come in? What would you like for me to say? I'd like you to say, hi, what you doing? What you doing? Yeah. Because if you say that, I'll say, having a cup of coffee, want one? What you're doing is what I'll say. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Now, if I can just remember that jingle and say, I'll be the Zane to pain. And say, Sting. What do I say? Pain. Oh. I'm going to Zane to stain. Listen, Jenny, Jenny, we're going to be just fine. But just in case you freeze, don't worry. <laughs> Please. Oh, but you won't. But just in case you do, don't worry. I'll just keep on talking. We're gonna be fine. Okay? Okay, ladies. We're ready. Come on, just follow me. Okay, move it backwards. Good. Now, Jenny, how do you feel? A little sick. <laughs> oh, good, good. Opening night jitters guarantee a great performance. Now, just sit down there. Now, Connie. Yeah. Connie, you enter through this door. Right. Now, when I say action, you just give a friendly knock Come in, see the rug, and just start talking in your fun-loving, friendly, neighborly way. Huh? Okay. Good luck, Jen. And what you doing? Okay, let's try to get this on the first take, boys, in case we get a good one. These gals are great. All right, roll cameras. Preston Richardson, take one. Okay. Warm and real now. Enjoy yourself. Happy. Huh? Action! <laughs> Hi, Jen. Uh, how's the world treating you? Oh, Having a cup of coffee? What you doing? Want one? Hey, Jen, what happened to that stain? Fine. Stain? You know the one that's shaped like Africa? It's gone. How'd you do it? Oh, oh, I remember you told me. You tried everything and nothing worked. Ow! <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Drip top. Is this what you used? Oh, it's sensational. Does it work on grape juice? Well, my husband put grape juice on a sweater and nothing gets grape juice out. I was just going to dye the sweater grape. But if it'll work on that big African state, it certainly will take out grape juice. I'll just have to get myself some drip off. Say, Jenny, uh, I remember on TV somebody singing about drip off. How'd that song go? The song. Song? If you want your sting, if you want your stings to lift off, give a shot of drift off. Say I'll be the Zane who stays. Right. The stains will lift off every time with drift off. Look for it. Sure. Okay, boys, that's a wrap. Thank you, ladies. That's it? Yep, that's it. Oh, Jenny, I'm sorry. I don't know what in the world possessed me to say. How's the world treating you? Oh, I can't thank you enough, ladies. It was exactly what I wanted. Fabulous. You're joking. It was terrible. Terrible? Terrible? Yes. It was terrible. <laughs> but so was a pearl to an oyster. Terrible. You just watch Search for Yesterday next Wednesday at 12 noon. And you'll see what Herbie Vincent does. Terrible. Love you both. Goodbye, everybody. It's a great day. Jenny, I talked you into this. Will you ever forgive me? Good. But not for a long, long time. Honey, it can't be as bad as you say it is. No? Ask Connie. It was worse. They won't be able to use it. Oh, you better turn it up, honey. Uh-oh. Spills, stains, and company coming. Drift off to the rescue. But why take it from us? Take it from its users. The main thing about Drift Off is it really works. You wouldn't kid me, would you? And it's so easy. I can't believe that. You just spray, wait, and wipe. 
If you want your sting to lift off, give a shot of lift off. Say I'll be the zane who stays. It's horrible. You say I'll see, Mommy. Oh, it was so terrible, it will run forever. <laughs> It was embarrassing, and I'm going to drive people crazy with my voice. Wait, it was stupid, and it was annoying. You can't beat that combination for a great commercial. <laughs> you might as well brace yourself. You're going to be famous. People are going to come up to you on the street, and ask for your autograph, or throw up on you. I don't know. <laughs> May I be the first? <laughs> Thank you.